there, you're watching The Data Dispatch. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm filming with my iPhone and not my Sony a6300 because I want to talk to you about my favorite way to carry this big camera on the trail. And that is with the Capture Camera Clip System by Peak Designs. I really enjoy taking pictures on the trail and trying to make movies about our trips and that sort of thing. And recently I've been trying to up the quality of those things and so I've been carrying my big mirrorless camera and its accompanying lenses, but I had really no great way to carry it. I tried a fanny pack, I hated it. I tried the Z-Packs four-in-one multi-pack. I also didn't like it the way it hung on your chest and it kind of just bounced around a little bit. It was just uncomfortable. And I've had this camera clip system for a while and I've used it for mostly day hikes and car camping trips and that sort of things. And I recently took it backpacking and I absolutely loved it. So this is how it works. Capture is basically three parts. This is the clip system that'll go on the strap of your backpack right here. A little pad that would keep it from, that would keep these screws right here if your pad wasn't thick enough, if the strap wasn't thick enough to keep those from digging into your chest, and a standard ball tripod ball mount that will slide in here that attaches to the bottom of your camera, like so. So it just goes in just like this. Just like that, it goes in. This slides into this, and you can carry your camera outside of your pack. As a matter of fact, let me just show you how this works right now. All right, so how does this actually work? Well, this is my Z-Pax R-Call, and the way it works is this. You just put this clip around your backpack strap. I do like to use this pad. It keeps the screws out from your chest a little bit. It simply clips on like that around it, and then you tighten these screws, which through the magic of movie making is now done. Okay, and then it's easy enough. This is your camera. You've got your, the, tripod ball mount screwed in and then this will just slide right in just like that let me show you what it looks like on all right so this is what it looks like on your pack hopefully you can see that here so it's just hanging from the strap and it's awesome um it just pops right out with the push of this red button and it slides out you know good to go right back in and even better than that if you're scrambling while you're jumping, but you can jump around. It is not going anywhere. This thing is great. Um, and if you really need to, if you're really doing some serious scrambling, if you tighten this screw right here, this button will not push and the camera cannot come out. You can actually lock it in place here. So this thing is awesome. It works equally well with my telephoto as it does with the standard kit lens. It's great. I love it. But there's one downside. I took this on our last trip to the Lost Coast. Not to the Lost Coast, that's where we're going next. To the Lost Creek Loop. And I didn't wind up getting that many pictures because I didn't take an action camera and this thing's not waterproof and it was sprinkling. It's sprinkling a lot and then we were going through tall brush. I didn't want this thing to get wet and so I just kind of had it in my pack all the time. I didn't want to be using it nearly as much as I would because I had it right here. So I'm sort of brainstorming on what I could do. Well, I've just found, I think, the solution. This is the Peak Designs shell. Same company, sells this waterproof, it's sort of like a neoprene shell with a, with a little bit of cushioning to it. And the way this works is it just slides over the top of your camera here. It's actually slightly easier to do if it's off. It just slides over your camera just like that. Then you can clench it up which it up here, and this is actually now, I wouldn't have it out in a rainstorm or anything like that, but if it was sprinkling or just for any of like sand coming up, we're in the Grand Canyon, I was very worried about the sand coming in and that sort of thing, and um, this thing, I haven't used it yet, I just got it in the mail a couple days ago, but it looks great, and it comes off easily if you're just using a pancake lens or a little kit cup lens right there, it also works, hold on one second, it also works equally well with the telephoto, if not better, because I was taking some shots out this morning and you can see with the lens cap off, you can see that you can shoot without even removing the cover. You can just take the back off just like this, shoot, and then put it back, hang it on, and your back's being waterproof. 
infinitely accessible. I think, and another great thing about this, I'm kind of realizing is it's actually kind of cushioned. And so when I, if I really start draining or it really starts coming down and I want to put this, um, put my camera in my backpack, I don't think I'm going to need to really protect it at all. Or, you know, normally I'd kind of wrap it up in some socks or something like that, but this thing is actually pretty cushiony and I can just put it on the top of my backpack and um, I should be good to go. Well, one thing I forgot to mention is that the shell has this elastic band here to go around your lens, like so. So if I'm shooting with this kit lens, it's not like I have to take the shell off, find something to do with the shell, shoot and put it back on. It will just hang like so, you know, and I could easily just put it back on and hang, right? So great. So that is the Peak Design Capture Camera Clip and their waterproof shell or water resistant shell. It is the system I'm going to be using when we go to the Lost Coast next month. I really hope that it enables me to get a lot of great stills and more videos than I'd have normally with a bigger, nicer camera than the Action Cam, than the GoPros that I normally carry. I've been using the capture camera system a lot. I have not used the shell. I will let you know how it goes. Really the only downside I can come up with other than just having to carry more stuff is the weight. The capture camera clip weighs just over five ounces. This is the shell in small. They make a small, a medium, and a large, and it comes in at two and a quarter, almost two and a half ounces. So I'm at about seven and a half ounces for just what I think is an improved way to carry a mirrorless camera. That's a lot, almost half a pound. But taking stills and taking video on the trail is the thing I like to do the most while we're out there. So if it's not as important to you, I'd probably avoid this and just stick with the GoPros and your phone, that kind of thing. I will put links for both of these products in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, definitely hit me up. If you thought this video was helpful or informative, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, go have some fun outside. See you soon.